Brian Graham, he's been joined by Ali Defoy. Brian, congratulations. Talk us through that. Six goals, what a game. Yeah, it was a fantastic result, so night under the lights and great, great result for us. So you had goals yourself and assists, so talk us through those goals. Yeah, the first one, Scott Tiffany does it outstanding down the left-hand side and puts it across and I got a tap in at the back post, so delighted with it. Second one, I'm not, I don't really know too much about it, to be honest. It drops and I managed to get my left foot in it, it's in the net, but that's all that matters. And I guess coming here tonight, massive for your fans. You're not getting to hear them because they're behind me at the moment. You've got the Hamilton fans, but your fans were delighted. Yeah, they were. They came in great numbers and it was great to hear them in full voice tonight and, and they deserve a night like that, so hope there's more to come from us. Brian, congratulations. You are the Singe Championship Player of the Match. Thanks very much. Thank you. It's been a fantastic night for Partick Thistle. The only thing that's taken the shine off it for Richard Foster is that Brian Graham's won man of the match. Can you believe that? Uh, well, yeah, I thought he was excellent, but the only thing that took the shine off was that goal that we conceded at the end there. Of course, yeah. Um, but no, fantastic performance. Um, I think guys have been discussing the pace we've got in the team, the guile and Scott Tiffany, and you've got a guy in the middle of the box who just wants to score goals and loves to score goals in Brian Graham, then, you know, it's, if we can keep it tight at the back, we're always going to score, um, and we showed that tonight. I thought some of our play was excellent. Absolutely. Partick Thistle, uh, very impressive tonight, Richard. Let's have a look at the first goal from, from Brian Graham. I mean, deserved man of the match performance. I mean, he's such a, a pivotal player for yourselves. Yeah, he's, he, leads the, he leads the line so well for us. He's physical. You know, but he'll run the channels. You know, that was a great ball over the top there for, for Tiffany. I don't know who played it. And then he just fires it into the box. But like I say, Brian's always in the middle of the goal. He always wants to be the one to score the goal. And, you know, great movement from Tiffany. Good movement from Brian. You see here, I'm not entirely sure what the Hamilton defence are doing. They just seem to leave him. They never engage with him. See there, a little check to the left. Follows the flight of the ball and, and, and the ball's in the back of the net. And like I say, from that moment on, we just really took control of the game and, and you know, put them to the sword a little bit. And, you know, we were kind of, every goal we ran back thinking, right, let's go and get another one. And like I say, the speed and the attack that we've got, we're always going to be dangerous. And of course, in the first half, you almost set up Brian Graham in the first half with, uh, when, even when you had to switch sides, of course, you've had a very versatile <laughs> evening. Yeah, I mean, it's actually weird because for my whole career, I thought I was right footed, but I think I actually might be left footed. <laughs> no, honestly, you're not. Um, <laughs> we've spoken about this today. But, um, no, it was, like I say, you just need to put the ball in an area. And Big Brian always attacks the ball, and I think he was very unlucky. Um, that it never went in, but like I say, when you've got someone in the box who causes defence, so many problems, it's a joy for a, for a fullback and a wide player. Absolutely. And Guys, congratulations, Scott. Um, I'll speak to yourself first. You yeah. managed to get your, you managed to jump in and get yourself a goal. How do you feel after that? I absolutely buzzing to play the way, to play with the, the way we played, and just, uh, it was absolutely class. Uh, and of course, Zach straight in a few minutes into the the game start and you got yourself a goal and then sit straight into Aye. the second half again a couple of minutes in you get a second how uh, delighted are you with no that? i'm very delighted i'm just delighted more delighted that we got the win yeah the yeah. alarms are going off around as you can hear <laughs> no. it's, you're just smashing all the records here today six goals yeah. zach tell us how you feel as a player to get two of those yourself oh i'm delighted um overall it's just a great team performance i thought i played well myself but um everybody was like nine out of tens all over the pitch and they were brilliant Scott, you're you're coming in, you're getting yourself a goal. As you say, the, the team, you probably haven't had a chance to celebrate with them. No, I know, just the way the gaffer plays, it's always attacking and it's great to play in and to score six goals in any, any night is always great. So tonight coming here was going to be a little bit tough, we thought, but it, it didn't turn out that way. How did you break down Hamilton? No, just the early goal, I think, killed them off. And then as soon as we started the second half, we knew what we had to do. Started off with another early goal and the goals just kept on coming. Just obviously disappointed to lose that one at the end, but we'll take six goals in any night. Yep, and Zach, your first goal, uh, well, your, your foot <laughs> might have possibly got to someone's head. How uh, did that go? Uh, my toe was a bit set after it. You're um, not claiming that, are you? Uh, I'm not claiming it, obviously. Uh, and nah, I feel bad I'm holding man, so right after it, but nah, I'm, I'm just delighted to get two goals tonight. Have you managed to, to see him at all? How is he? Ah, he's alright, yeah. yeah. Just a, a strong few man. Stitches, man. <laughs> a few stitches in the head, maybe eight or ten. Well, I won't hold you back anymore, but congratulations to you both and well Cheers, done. Thank you. Well like done. Uh, such blatant disregard for the well-being of their teammate. They're on good form. Uh, he's not letting <laughs> Zach Grudden claim that goal, is he? Fantastic night for Partick Thistle. You can see how much it means to them. And let's have a look at the Cinch Championship table. It is good news all round for Partick Thistle. They're up into third place as it stands this evening. Obviously, lots of games to be played tomorrow. Hamilton Aki's at this moment in time. Early doors in the season, of course, but they are third bottom. But 
I bet one happy man this evening is the Partick Thistle manager, Ian McCall. He's with Ali right now. Ian, you said before the match a win would make this a good quarter for you. You achieved that, uh, and how pleased are you with tonight's performance, taking you into third position now? Well, you know, to win 6-1 in any game is, is pleasing, I thought. I thought the first half was quite even. I thought we dominated the first part, but they came into it. The second half, if we can keep it tight, we've got the front four. Are, I've got a lot of pace and movement about them. Uh, and we scored good goals. Disappointed to lose one at the end. But, you know, if you'd offered 6-1 at the start, I think we'd have taken it. Yeah, you did say coming into today's match it was going to be tough. You didn't know too much what to expect, but you come out of that with a great win. Oh, it's a great win. Fantastic for our supporters, our directors, everybody. And it's, uh, you know, to score six goals in any game. I, I said it starts we might not win anything this year, but we're going to score an awful lot of goals. Now, your next game is Dunfermline at home. They've drawn with both Hamilton and league leaders in Vernes Cali Thistle. What do you expect from that fixture? Well, I think they've got it. I think they'll turn it around at some point. Uh, hopefully, uh, not against us. Our record at Fur Hill's excellent. But in the, you know, last two league games, we scored 10 goals. I'm, I'm not sure we'll keep that up, but uh, we'll try our best. And it was 1 0 at half time. Second half, you come out, five goals. What did you say to them at half time? I just, uh, just to be a little bit more precise in the final third, I thought we had a lot of opportunities to cut them open in the first half and, and didn't do it. But we did that in the second half. And we'd some, you know, football's a pretty simple thing. If you have seven or eight players playing well and they're good players, you tend to win football matches. And, and you know, can I just say, I cannot believe that you got Rudden. And Tiffany, can I apologise to all Partick Thistle fans for their media performance? Because I can imagine what it was like. I have to say they were they were pretty good. They were very excitable. Um, their combined <laughs> IQ is about 100. I'll let you say that. But to your fans who've made the, the journey today and travelled all the way down, it's not a massive journey, but it's still a journey. What do you say to them oh, after they're, that? They're result? fantastic. They've been fantastic since day one, even through the hard times when we weren't really doing too well in League One. But since we went in that run, our, our fans. You know, the club's moving in the right direction, long may that continue. Yep, and it was great for Zach to get the, the goal, he, he's claimed it, but um, how's Holt's head? Is he all right? Well, he'll, he'll need a few stitches, he wants to drive home, uh, right. he lives in Dumfries, my hometown, so we'll, we'll see how it is, I think the doctor's going to stitch him up, but he's fine, I think he's fine. OK, glad to hear it. Yes. Um, wish you all the best for your next match, and congratulations Thank for you a very huge much. result. Well Brilliant. done. Thanks.